Hello, it's me Popper and I'm back for another episode of VTuber Review. It's been a while since my last video so I wanted to put out a new video for everyone. I have a lot of final exams coming up at the time I'm writing this script, but I wanted to make sure that this video came out before I really don't have the time. As you can probably tell from the title, this iteration of VTuber Review is on Asuka Hina, a high school sophomore that debuted as a member of Niji Sanji Seeds. I'm going to start using both the unofficial Niji Sanji wiki and the virtual YouTubers wiki to gather information in these videos, so I hope I can bring better content for you all. Without further ado, let's start this episode of VTuber in Review on Asuka Hina. Asuka Hina is a second year high school student that attended Teika High School until she transferred to another school on February 13, 2019. She's currently 17 years old and her birthday is the 3rd of March, which makes her a Pisces. She's 145 centimeters tall, which is equivalent to about 4.7 feet, and her weight is unknown, which is understandable since asking a girl for her weight could be a death sentence. In food-related categories, Asuka enjoys eating softer ice creams, drinking coffee, and she loves gummy bears. I gotta say, Asuka has some great taste in food. I love all types of ice cream and I live off of coffee most days. I received the cold brew maker as a gift, and I love how convenient it is. Gummy bears are for sure a top tier candy as well. I used to go to Target often with my brother and we'd always pick up one of those huge Haribo bags. I swear, if Haribo decides to make bags of gummy bears but with only the pineapple ones, I'll sell all of my dogecoin and buy their entire stock. Anyways, just based on her food taste alone, Asuka is already a top tier VTuber and she should be respected as such. I'm going to be adding a new unofficial section to my videos where I look at the character model of the VTuber. In my previous videos, I barely go into detail about some of the models which I regret because I think that all of the models in Niji Sanji are amazing. In the future, I'll be adding this section in my videos as well because I want to give credit where credit is due to these artists who take their time to make the faces of Niji Sanji that we know and love. Asuka has gone through a slight redesign during her time in Niji Sanji. Her original outfit depicts her in a school uniform, most likely belonging to Teika High School back when she attended. She has her signature white bow situated on her head, and her wavy hair that looks crazy soft considering it's 2D. She wears stockings underneath her skirt which are always welcome, and she wears white shoes with yellow laces. In her new design which she mostly uses nowadays, she sports a white blouse under a striped pinafore with a little bird pin on the left strap. Yes, I had to search up what a pinafore is. I have no clue what fashion is since I wear sweatshirts way too often. She keeps her signature white bow and wavy hair as well as her stockings and shoes. A belt is attached to her waist and, I must say, this singular belt makes her whole outfit 10 times cuter. She has two alternate outfits if you can even call one of them an outfit, quote unquote. Her first alternate outfit is more casual and depicts Asuka wearing a blouse with a bluish turquoise collar and a skirt with bluish turquoise polka dots. She wears a bracelet on her left hand and she wears knee-high socks and new shoes. I have to admit, the new color of her knee socks had me flustered when I first looked at it. They just look so... nice. She has an alternate version of this alternate outfit with some extra accessories including a nice pair of shades, a tight sweater around her shoulders, and what looks like a bamboo stick. If any of you know what she's holding in her hands, let me know in the comments because I'm still confused. Anyways, the smug aura she gives off in this outfit is extremely strong, and I wouldn't mind getting bonked on the head with whatever she has in her hand. This is probably my favorite outfit from her, but her next one definitely gives this one a run for its money. So I don't even know if it can be considered an outfit as much as it is a different depiction of Asuka, but this is her adult costume. Yes, this is Asuka as an adult. I'm just as flustered as you are, trust me. I'm just gonna call this version of her adultska to make it easier for me to differentiate the outfits. There's a lot to say about this outfit, so let's just get right into it. The first thing I noticed about this outfit is that she lost her white bow, which makes me sad. It's understandable since she's supposed to be more mature in this outfit, but I can't help but feel like there's something lost. What her younger outfit lost though, she makes up for in the rest of the outfit. She sports a white lab coat and a stethoscope around her neck. On the lab coat, she has her hospital registration, and if you couldn't already tell, this is supposed to be Asuka in the future when she's reached her dream of becoming a doctor. Underneath their lab coat is where the outfit really takes a mature turn. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but she seems to be wearing a see-through nylon shirt that's connected to a purple dress of some kind. 
The style of see-through nylon really ties the whole outfit together for me, and is probably my favorite part about it. That or the garter belt that's attached to her stockings along with some nice heels. I try my best not to let my inner desires out in my videos, which is why I don't often express my opinions on certain things. But come on, it's just too good. Especially with all of the nylon. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like nylon. It looks like the softest thing in the world. You can't convince me that you can look at this outfit without being flustered as well. There's just too much maturity going on that I can't handle as a hormone-filled zoomer. I really need Asuka to bonk me on my head right now, because Adultska is too powerful. Let's give credit where credit is due though. Her artist, Tajima Particles, did an amazing job with these outfits. I can really appreciate the dedication that was put into each one, because they're so aesthetically pleasing. I'm probably the worst artist I know of, but even I can appreciate how much effort was put into these outfits. It feels like every detail of each outfit was put there for a reason. There's nothing that's wasted in any of her outfits, and each accessory feels like it makes the outfit two times better. I'm glad that I was able to see these outfits because my eyes have been gifted, so please go check out Tachima Particles out. They do an amazing job with all their artwork. Just don't search them up on Google without going into an incognito tab or at least have some privacy in your room. Let me know what you all think about the outfits as well in the comments. Tell me your favorite outfit. Mine is definitely the alternate outfit with the polka dot skirt because it's just insanely cute. Anyways, let's move on from this section. Hope you all enjoyed it. Some hobbies that Asuka has are napping, collecting cute items, and reading books. She also considers herself a marginal otaku, and she's an avid viewer of other VTubers. She often tries to promote VTubers that she likes as well, which has given her a positive reputation among viewers and VTubers alike. Though she may not post too often on her channel at times, she is very active on Twitter, so you can always interact with her there. She has one of the highest numbers of tweets in Niji Sanji, despite her debuting later than other members. Speaking of Twitter, here's her artist's Twitter account, Tajima Particle. You may think that Asuka looks somewhat familiar, and that's because she actually shares the same artist as Takamiya Ryan. Tajima Particle is a great artist, so I definitely recommend checking them out. If you need more convincing, they have a pretty lewd pics of account, if you're into that of course. We've gotten most of the biography stuff out of the way now, so let's go to the meat and potatoes of her YouTube channel. Asuka does not stream that often, which is evident just by taking a look at her archives. When she first debuted, she delivered most of her streams in only 20 minute intervals, but her streams have been getting longer recently. You can find a lot of gaming streams such as Minecraft, Splatoon, and Mario Kart, but more recently she's been playing some Pokemon Snap. However, Asuka doesn't have as many gaming streams as she does chatting streams. She's definitely more of a chatting streamer, and she has plenty of ASMR streams, which I really appreciate. Her voice is really suited for ASMR, so if you're into it, and I highly recommend you check those streams out. In fact, I think Asuka's charm is her chatting streams. She's really soft-spoken, which makes her streams very relaxing. Sometimes, it feels like she's in constant ASMR mode because she doesn't raise her voice often. I do love the ear-splitting screens that you can find from most of the other VTubers in Niji Sanji, but sometimes I just want to watch a stream without needing to turn my audio to an extremely low level. I haven't actually heard her raise her voice too loudly, which goes to show how relaxing she is. Here's a quick sample of her voice so you know what you're signing up for. <laughs> as far as collab streams go, she has many to choose from. She's done collab streams with VTubers such as Keisuke Maimoto, Machida Chima, and Kuroi Shiba. I especially like her streams with Chima because I think they complement each other very well. Maybe it's also because she's done a lot of horror streams with her. I don't know about you all personally, but I love watching horror content even though I'm extremely bad with it. I get this weird feeling of excitement from watching horror that keeps me watching even though I'd most likely be hiding in the description and comment section. I usually mimic the streamer's energy as well, so watching Asuka's horror streams calms me down from all of my fear. Horror streams probably give me more excitement than fear, which is pretty weird since I don't deal well with horror. I've probably watched every VTuber that I know of play the convenience store, and I can only hope in the future that she plays it, and maybe with Chima. 
I'll watch any horror game that she plays, and hopefully you all join me as we hide in the comment section looking for jump scare timers together. I don't want to sound over dramatic, but I wouldn't mind using Father Elon's Neuralink to constantly stream her voice to my brain. She's a pretty serious person and she often gives advice to people that ask while staying true to her own values. She always tries her best, and I can't help but appreciate her even more because of it. Watching her streams reminds me to be happy with the way I am, and for that, I'm grateful for the fact that I was introduced to her. Having her streams in the background of whatever I'm doing helps me calm down, and I've dozed off a couple of times already watching her while I laid in bed. I stay up extremely late at night as well, so sometimes I have to be careful if I watch her streams since I've fallen asleep in my uncomfortable chair too many times. She's contributing to my coffee addiction since I need to stay awake whenever I watch her streams. I'm the type of person who doesn't like going to bed at night, but doesn't want to get out of bed in the morning, so using Asuka as a sleep aid is great. Whenever I need to get myself to sleep, I can put on her ASMR streams and get knocked out in no time. Maybe this is just superstition, but I'm pretty sure listening to her as I'm already asleep gives me better dreams. I don't want to brag, but I won the lottery in my dream and I'm pretty sure it was thanks to Asuka. Who knew falling asleep could feel this amazing? Currently, Asuka is around 97.5k subscribers, which is extremely close to 100k. She only needs 2.5k more subscribers to reach the goal, which is not the hardest thing to achieve. I know I've said this in almost every video I've made, but I want Asuka to hit 100k. She really does deserve it, even though she doesn't stream as often as other VTubers. You should all really check her out. I couldn't recommend her more, even if I had to sacrifice my left kidney. She's one of the most courteous, cutest, and comfiest VTubers I've had the pleasure of viewing in Niji Sanji, so go subscribe to her now. Do it. I'm watching. I'll always be watching until you hit her subscribe button. Just remember that. On that note, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you all in the next video whenever the heck that is. This is Popper, signing off.